I'm Derek Traquair from MarTech Infrastructure. Today we're on Highway 56 in Alberta, working with Prime Residence Polyurethane Growth to stabilize this highway. The project we're on right now is a road stabilization project for Alberta Transportation. Uh, they have a uh, ongoing problem in a roadbed that's about 40 years old. Uh, about uh, three meters down to about six meters or uh, 10 to 20 feet is a destabilized soil layer. We've been uh, injecting uh, prime resin uh, 920 uh, with catalyst in it and uh, the, the project's going very well here. We're more than pleased with uh, the outcome on it. Martech, uh, the regional distributor and Prime Resin, the manufacturer, have both had people out on site here. They've been extremely helpful in uh, you know, providing uh, setup knowledge and uh, injection knowledge on how to uh, get this product into the ground and uh, what results we can be expecting from it. Hey, my name's Scott Kelly. I'm with Prime Resins. I'm a technical consultant. Today we're stabilizing soils with PrimeFlex 920 single component polyurethane resin. The issue uh, with this highway is that over the years, uh, the road settled in uh, this one particular section due to groundwater movement. Groundwater is percolating through the soil, removing fines, causing erosion below the surface, and literally they've piled four feet of asphalt in this particular road section due to settlement. Test bores were conducted which uh, proved or showed that uh, they had very soft clays between 21 feet in depth and 10 feet in depth. Okay, the first step in this process is to lay out a grid of holes drilled through the asphalt and then we're going to drive probes down into the grout zone which in this case is 21 feet in depth or actually 20 feet in depth. These probes are steel pipes that are water jetted into position and then we're going to connect up to uh, those probes with our grout hose. Okay, PrimeFlex 920 is a single component material. It's polyurethane, it's a hydrophobic, very low viscosity. So we're able to inject this material with a single component pump. We're using a, uh, a gas operated airless paint sprayer that produces about two gallons a minute. Uh, common high pressure fittings, common high pressure hose, uh, very simple connections. We're actually using uh, quick disconnects for the connections to the pipe. And uh, the material is simply uh, injected through the hose down into the pipe into the grout zone. The pipes are raised as the grouting is conducted. As soon as we fill the zone that we're injecting in, we actually jack the pipe out of the ground. And this forms a column of uh, fortified soil or densified soil to, uh, to increase the load bearing capacity of this road base. 